Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt Saletti here again for Dub Spot. Today I want to show you some really cool tricks, things you might not have ever thought of doing with the machine sampler. Um, and specifically, kind of turning it into a really cool sound design tool to take boring, ordinary samples, turning them into really cool, unique instruments. So I think it's a really interesting thing that a lot of people will overlook and uh, hopefully we can show you how to do some cool stuff. So check this out. All right, so the first thing we did here was put in a couple drums. Let's hear what those sound like. So just some cool drums with a nice guitar rig, custom delay kind of thing. Check out the videos we've done before. I show you how to set up some really cool effects processors inside of Guitar Rig. And so what we're working with here is um, this vocal sample. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty terrible. I am from Wisconsin, so I guess it's fitting that I make kind of this cow sound, like it's mooing or something. And the thing is, you can turn any kind of weird vocal sample, any kind of sample actually, into a cool instrument. And that's that's the idea we're going to look at right here. So here's one kind of iteration I did. You know, maybe it's like a cool dubstep wobble bass. And that's the pad sound you heard. Um, just kind of like a spooky Halloween thing is what I'm going to go for right here. So let's start with our sample. I'm just going to duplicate this onto a new pad to work with clean. So the first thing we do is come to the edit tab in your sampling. Now most people are you know, familiar with using the start and the end points. That's all great. So I want to find a part that I can turn into a pad. Perfect. All right. Now, what a lot of people don't think about maybe is the second arrow over. You get more options. In fact, you can see these extra options right here in the GUI. But let's hit the arrow over. You now have what's called loop mode. And it, when I enable loop mode, check it out. It's just going to keep looping. And you also have your start and your end points here. So let's kind of match up where we were. And remember, you can zoom in on the controller as well. So we can really kind of dial in and see what we're working with here. You can get it real fine even. Zoom in real nice. Now you can see just like you know this is maybe kind of like a sine wave here except with some definite harmonic overtones so imagine when you really break it down in these smaller increments you can create bass sounds you know basically an oscillator um, for whatever you're looking for so what I'm gonna do though is just keep it near my start and end points let's zoom back out so this is easier to do because I want this nice long pad right Perfect. I'm going to go one arrow over and adjust the attack. Just a little bit to kind of cut those off. And the crossfade can help actually cut off some of those clicks and pops should you have those as well. So here's my sound. We're going to work with that. I come back out and I'm coming to the module, the sampler module. Now remember here, this is each time you record something in or have a, pay, uh, a sample, you have this six page sampler already to work with right off the bat. So you can do things like adjust polyphony, tuning, pretty cool. I can start it in the middle of a sample. 
or the end. Mm. I can reverse the mm. sample. Mm. Maybe we'll have it reversed here. And I have an amplitude envelope, so mm. I want to make it more of a pad. Mm. We can set up a real long attack. Mm. And real long release. Mm. Mm. Keep going here. So we're not actually delaying anything. It sounds like a delay, but it's just that loop playing over and over till the release lets it go. So we'll just keep it fairly long release. Next page over, you have compressor, uh, compressor, drive, settings, filter. Let's turn on the filter, low pass. So you can see we have a lot of movement. I'm going to keep it at the bottom though, because the next page over, we have our modulation envelope. So the same way a um, volume envelope will work, whereas if it's attack, watch, it would be like a slow creep up till you get to maximum amplitude and then down with the release. You can do the same thing to modulate some of these parameters. In fact, pitch, cutoff, drive, and pan. So let's turn up my cutoff quite a bit and let's have a slow attack. So as I hold it down, you're going to hear the cutoff build up till it gets to that main point. And let's go adjust our cutoff on the first page. So once we've turned it up a little, I'm going to do the same thing with drive. So let's make the drive kind of bite as it gets up. That can be pretty rad. Same thing. You can hear what we would do with pitch. That's how if you're like into dance music, you want those long kind of slow crescendo buildups, you can do it with this thing right here. You also have an LFO built into every single page on the sampler. So maybe let's do like a cool panning thing. We can have a nice slow fade back and forth. And you can adjust different types. So you can see a rectangle is going to jump. We're, we're going to keep a nice slow sine wave. So it's just going to kind of go back and forth. Maybe a little cutoff too. Now if we play this in keyboard mode. Instantly we're getting, you know, much more interesting results. Now imagine obviously you take it the next step up and you start going through and finding some effects. So let's actually from the software, let's just grab something like the Rezzo chord. I'm going to use this string. I'm going to spread it out and detune it. Let's go down a seventh. <laughs> Much cooler. So we've taken a very boring sound and turn it into a completely usable thing. By the way, you know, I use the mouse just for a couple things, but literally everything I could have just done right here. So it's very fun to use it with machine, kind of like this, this cool instrument. So sky's the limit, y'all mess around with it you can turn any sound into an instrument some weirdo drums whatever you like just kind of get in here and uh check it out y'all all right peace welcome to dubspot we believe in providing you hands-on experience right away whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal we're ready to meet you at your level for students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.